Well, while I still have 400 subscribers, um, I thought it would be a good idea to uh, do an update video on uh, one of my solutions videos on democracy. Um, I do intend eventually to try to make a higher production value kind of video on the subject explaining it. Um, of course, it depends on who you're talking to, you know. I mean, some people understand how the democracy works. They understand how the Senate works and the Congress and that the state and level we have governors and legislatures and that there's a difference between these systems. I mean, one body is intended to be a representative body um, and the other is the executive is supposed to be essentially a, you know, representation of the majority opinion. Basics are that yes, we can have a better system, we can fix our democracy, we can have legislative elections that would include the Congress of the United States and your state legislatures and even your local councils perhaps, where instead of being um, forced to choose between two parties, you can choose any candidate without throwing your vote away. And second, um, where the um, foundation for your vote is not based on your geography, but it is based on your ideology. Your vote would only go to someone you affirmatively voted for. You would never be in the position of having your vote essentially stolen by some political party candidate who won a slim majority in a narrow geographic district. Um, so every election would become more valuable to every person because they would be selecting their representative. It would be somebody who would be, they had directly and intentionally and willfully voted for. They wanted that person to have power in government. So anyway, some of you understand what I've proposed and some of you don't. Some of you understand the subtleties of the change I've suggested and some of you don't. Um, I just like to get first to, you know, before I go into any more detail for the people who can't stand the detail, um, let's just use the system we have here. I, I mean, if you are completely opposed, then give this video one star. If you're generally supportive, I mean, you'd certainly want to have all the details, but generally supportive, then you give it five stars. So you don't have to do any work, you don't have to type anything. Um, if you are capable or willing to do the little extra work, um, you know, just say yes or no, and there's only two questions I essentially would like to understand, um, you know, like, like input on. If you don't think it would work, explain why you don't think it would work. Um, and uh, if you don't think it would be fair, explain why it wouldn't be fair. Um, why the change wouldn't be an improvement over the current existing geography-based system and system that denies third-party candidates um, any practical reason to run. Uh, you know, it'd be interesting to see how many views this video gets, how many people actually do rate it as one or five, and um, uh, just to see how many people are paying attention to what I'm saying. <laughs> Um, you know, and then, um, you know, what the general impression is of the idea of this change. The reason why I'm doing this video now is because this is the most important thing to me. This is, in my life, this is, this change would mean more than any other change I can imagine being created because it would, it would just completely change the political system. It would essentially, I mean, very realistically, get rid of all the liars. Most of us, yeah, we can, we know the difference. We know the difference between a good man and a bad man. You know, a liar and, a, and somebody who's um, got integrity. Just, it just seems to me logical that we, we allow people to have their, um, they have to be empowered. We have to have reason to be part of the system. And that's to me the, 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 the most valuable part of this is that it ends all this isolation, it ends all this disconnect between government and people because in every election we would have a reason to vote because it would mean something. Our vote would matter 
because it couldn't go to anybody we didn't vote for. I mean, it's that simple. Our power would be assured. And uh, it would give us all reason to be more active participants in the system um, because of this openness. And uh, the only negative consequence I can contemplate is that, yes, it's going to be a bit of a transition because you're going to have legislative bodies that are going to reflect the entire scope of America. You're going to have clan members and you're going to have communists. You're going to have all kinds of extremes represented. And uh, so that's going to, there's going to be some divisiveness in those bodies. And they're going to have to work through that and compromise with each other and create coalitions and do a lot of other things to um, work together to get things done. But what they're not going to be able to do is uh, you know, bring a lot of pork home to some district because none of these candidates are going to be owned by a district anymore. So if, they're, if we need some sort of uh, innovative new chemical plant or some other stupid thing that the government's going to subsidize or finance or do whatever it's going to do, well, it's going to get located in the best location by a logical standard, not the best location because the you know leading senator or the leading congressperson um, you know has a has a uh, the, the power to bend the system to make it come to his home. I mean, it's no more of that crap. Oh yeah, there's going to be people that are just going to say, well, no, it's a bad idea because you have long hair. No, it's a bad idea because you're ugly. No, it's a bad idea because I don't like you. Um, no, it's a bad idea because you said something bad about guns. Um, whatever. I mean, I can't do anything about that. Um, but uh, for those people who really don't like it for some legitimate reason, express it. I'll listen to it. I'll read it. Um, and I'll try to incorporate um, an explanation in my next video on the subject that um, explains why I don't see that as a problem. You know, change really has to happen. And the only way it's going to happen is people have to talk about it and then they have to get uh, motivated as a group to do something about it. And that's all I'm trying to do. <clears throat> and maybe it's no point in trying, but that's, I don't see any point in doing anything else. Um, there's nothing more important than fixing things. Proving something, there's just nothing more valuable than that. You know, I mean, it's, we can do things in our personal lives, for our own satisfaction, all that crap. But in the end, it's, it's, you know, what we leave behind and what we leave to the future. And that's the real measure of what we were worth. And uh, as a generation, as a whatever you want to call this spectrum of human beings that are alive today, um, it'd be nice if we could show something for ourselves, do something. Um, make a difference and uh, to that future and give them something really valuable and uh, so whatever I you know obviously I don't have any ulterior motive um, beyond the fact that I think it makes sense and it would empower <clears throat> all kinds of people who have no power now and it would eliminate all this frustration um, because you'd actually have something to work with you'd actually have somebody on the floor of the house who was representing your anger, representing your disgust, representing your frustration with what government does. And even if they can't change the system, maybe if they're still a minority, at least they'll have a voice. And uh, these politicians won't be able to get a free ride. Um, you know, there'll be somebody making noise and forcing them to own up and explain what the hell they're doing and why they're doing it. It's just going to be somebody pushing their buttons. And, uh, you know, if we had a media that was responsible, maybe we'd have that already, but we don't. We don't have a media that gives a damn. They give a damn about the majority. They don't give a damn about atheists or cigarette smokers or homosexuals or all these, you know, you go right down the list of all the people who are screwed because of the current system. And, uh, you know, people that have, you know, that are millions in the population and have no representation in government. And that's what would change. And it's a, it's a vital change. It's, it's, like, it's fundamental. And it doesn't mean abolishing the Constitution or any of this other. I mean, these people that go on about this rhetoric, you know, 12 minutes, so I'm way over. So I wanted to do some editing. So we'll just cut this down and leave it at that. So thanks for putting up with me.